my entire life was, I believe, was prepare myself for this moment to, you know, um, when the beginning of the, my career with my brothers, when we start training, when we are just kids, just enjoy Jiu-Jitsu cl uh, Jiu class with the Romero Calvo country, and back in like, I was six years old, five to six, Ricardo seven, Leo near to 10 years old, so we were just kids. We started a martial art that's really small, that nobody knew about it. So it was like just one thing that my mom would put us to do to get away from the street, to get away from street time, right? And that became a big thing in our life, you know, that changed our life forever, you know, like we live off Jiu Jitsu now, right? And I, I, know, I know that my entire life or every step, every t uh, time in my life, from first class when I started five years old until now with, with the fight team, I was prepared for this, you know. If I didn't like, if I didn't love what I do, I would say I would be under a lot of stress. Because I love what I do, I don't see that pressure. I feel so motivated to get off of my bed and go teach, go share the share the match with my students, go see the coach, go see the other coach, see the, the fight team training, you know, be there for a spar and come back in the afternoon, run the class for the kids, you know, beat that time with the kids and finish the day with adults class. It's like it is a lot of work, but because I love what I do, it's like just living the day, you know, I can, I could be more blessed. Back in the day, it's just a good thing that back in the day, you will see fighters taking each other down and take the fight to the cage, next to the cage, and to trap the opponent there, and from there, strike, finish the fight there. Nowadays, when the fights go on the ground, you see the guy on the bottom pushing himself, but scooting all the way to find the cage, to use the cage to stand up, yeah. right? So the martial arts change. It's not just one thing. You're not gonna be just Jiu-Jitsu and walk there and be successful. Unfortunately not. Jiu-Jitsu is good, awesome self-defense. I believe one of the top one that the fighters need to train, you know, but by, this, by itself, Jiu-Jitsu is not gonna help you. So. You have a good ground game. You will need to be able to take the take the person down. You know, so you need to work your wrestling, you need to work your judo, and to get that close, to get a takedown, you need to be able to protect yourself and set up the takedown. You need to train everything. There's no way you will go today on on the octagon, ready to fight, just train one martial art. You're gonna get screwed. You need to train everything. You need to be a mix of martial art fighter need to be ready to do everything and mix everything and change as you as the fight flows change as your point it is you know you need to be able to change the I I don't rush position you know I like to work where I I, I can control my opponent and use the last of energy less of, of like um, power is possible and Jiu about that using your opponent energy against him himself you know it's not spending energy it's not wasting energy if you don't need so i put that in my mind and i start to looking for a position where i could use that help in my my myself so i put myself in, in certain position where i need i don't need to rush and i wait for my opponent to try to move or try to escape when there i will catch him you know like tournaments are very like is is challenge you know take you from your comfort zone you know when you don't expect you just sign up when you see it's like your coach is outside you know you, your your family's outside your, everybody's outside watching for you waiting for you to show what you haven't been doing class right and they learn the early the kids understand that and the early they understand would commit to train to to to, to do a good performance, they understand that the, the community between that process, nobody win a match, nobody just go there and win without training, you know, and the, the earlier they understand that, the commitment, how important they commit with the training, how important they commit with the technique, to commit with, to fix the mistake, and more than that, and they face that challenge. I mean, you're going for a tough fight, you know, and you cannot train in, soft you need to train hard you know need to prepare your body need to be prepared 
So it's kind of the stuff, you know, like I, I'm, I like to work with the fire, that's a big passion with me, to, to follow them all the way to the camp, all the way to the fire, you know, I win when they win, and I, I feel the pain too when, when they lost, you know, like, I, it's like I'm losing too, you know, it's like tough. <laughs> if you fail, you don't work, if you don't work, you're still going back to the gym, work better, and work to get back and, and, and try it again, you know, it's not a quit, it's not a, it's not an end after the match, you know. But we're going there to, to face that challenge. We train for that. We wait for that. You know? And that challenge is going to show us what we need to work. And then after that, come back in the gym, keep on work, continue working, improve every time.